The ancients believed that living things appeared by spontaneous generation. This means living things grew out of non-living things. For example, when people saw maggots on putrefying meat, they thought the meat itself had spontaneously turned into maggots. Or they believed that rags could be magically transformed into mice. Such beliefs were widely held until one of science's greatest heroes proved it wrong. In 1860, the French Academy of Sciences offered a reward for someone to finally settle the issue of spontaneous generation. Was it true or not? Up stepped Louis Pasteur, one of the most eminent scientists of the day. This famous Frenchman is best known for his work on vaccination and giving us pasteurization. These achievements have overshadowed the fact that he put paid to the idea of spontaneous generation. And this he did very simply using curious flasks like this with this S-shaped neck. He poured a clear meat broth into a pair of these flasks. He boiled them both to ensure that any life already in there was well and truly dead. Then he left the flask sitting out with the end of those S-necks open to the air. Pastor waited and he waited. According to spontaneous generation, both flasks should have been crawling with life by now. But even after three years, there was nothing, no sign of life. Then came Pasteur's pièce de résistance. He took one of the two flasks and gave it a good shake. This shaking dislodged the years of dust that had settled in the esnek. The dust was now in the broth. Within two days, the shaken flask had changed color, while in the other flask, things were still the same. The broth inside this flask had turned cloudy because countless millions of microorganisms carried on the dust had started growing in it. Pasteur concluded that these tiny living things already existed on the dust and had not spontaneously generated in the broth inside the flask. He'd proved that life didn't generate spontaneously, and he'd done it just like that. Pasteur's prize-winning experiment 